Graham, what is your reaction to that? Top six, how does it feel? Uh, brilliant. I am, um, you know, we thought we'd we chucked it. Um, you know, we, we've had a, a difficult run and then we've put ourselves in a great position last week. And uh, we didn't really perform well today. We, we understand that. Um, I thought Livingston were the better team for most of the game, but I thought we uh, stayed in there even at 2 0 and we, and we stuck to trying to get something from the game. Uh, we, we weren't too much aware of what was going on elsewhere, but um, at 2 1, we just we, uh, we, we knew we were still in the in the top six and then uh, Chris whispered in me that we need a goal which was uh, but we were going for it anyway we had a lot of attacking players on the pitch and then uh, to get it in that fashion was just ridiculous really um, honestly me and Chris are talking in there but I don't know if we've been involved in a game like that in in the eight or nine years we've been a, a management staff and um, I'm so pleased for everybody because it's you know we'd have only had ourselves to blame if we hadn't made it because of the position we put ourselves in, what we've done, you know, prior to New Year's, um, but I feel, you know, after 33 games, the league doesn't lie, and, and we deserve to be in there. So I'm, I'm so pleased for everyone connected with the club. Talk me through how it felt the moment you saw that that net bulge. Uh, I'll, I'll be honest. I celebrated for about half a second and then I was thinking, right, what do we need? What do we need to do? Do we need a point? Do we need to go for a win? And it was, I was it, everything was just going through my mind. So I thought we just need to make subs, and if it stays as it is. That, that's us. Um, so we made a couple of subs, and then it was just trying to see out whatever the last was, the last minute or whatever. Um, and even then, when the final whistle went, I, 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 I was I was reluctant to celebrate because um, I just needed to see it on someone's phone that it was definitely happening because of the madness of the last you know five minutes or something. You know, I just thought, There's, is there a sting in the tail? So until we saw that league table, it was um, then we then we just. Um, enjoyed the moment because it was it was brilliant you know I'm so pleased for the players you know because I know how difficult it is it's a, it's a great uh, profession but it's difficult mentally sometimes you know because you, you get you know um, thrown about a bit but the spirit they've shown um, you know over the last couple of months I know we haven't got the points that we've, we, we wanted to but we've never been humped we've always been in the games we've, we've won points from behind gone to Ibrox 2-0 down come back 2-2 last week gone behind and throw away lead we win today 2-0 down the boys have got personality and character and um, I'm so pleased for them because uh, I see the work they do from uh, day one of pre-season um, but you want that rewarded at the end and I know we're not at the end but you, you know, we're, we've still got five games to go and it's about resetting now but we, we got to enjoy that we've we've um, we've done what we set out to do at the start of the season. Now can we try and nick a bit more? That's what I was going to say. What, what is next now? Is the target Europe? It's down to the players for me. I think it's down to the players. I'll, I'll, I'll look at them in training. We'll we'll have a chat. Um, looking at what we what they are as a group, I think they'll want to do that. Um, if we don't, it won't be a disaster because we've done what we set out to do. But I think with five games to go, I think we owe it to ourselves to to try and finish as high as we possibly can. Um, and if I know this group of players, they'll try and do that. Thanks, Graham. Well done. Okay, thank you.